Hello and welcome to this video on how to run an independent samples t-test here in Jamovi. So let's get started. We have two variables here. The first is group, which includes groups A and B. And the second variable is score, which includes test scores for both groups A and B. Here we can see that we've set group to be a nominal variable with the data type being text while score is a continuous variable with the data type set to integer. Group A here has studied for one hour while group B studied for five hours. So let's see if there is a significant difference between the test scores of both groups. We can do that by running a t-test. Let's go over here to t-tests and then select independent samples t-test. Let's select the dependent variable, score, and the grouping variable, group. We can also select the mean difference, effect size, descriptives, and descriptives plots for additional information. Here are the results. We can see that the mean difference here is negative 10. This indicates that the test scores of group B were higher than the test scores of group A. And here the p-value indicates that there is a significant difference between the test scores of group A and group B. This is because the null hypothesis is that there is no significant difference between the test scores of groups A and B. And we can reject that null hypothesis because the p-value is less than 0.05 or 5%. This indicates that the test scores of groups A and B are different due to chance is extremely low. We can also see that the Cohen's D effect size of negative 3.3 is very large as any effect size above 0.8 is considered very large. This means that the difference is not only statistically significant, but also practically meaningful. And here we can see that the mean score for group A is substantially lower than the mean score for group B. And this is again indicated by the independent samples t-test. And so this is how we run an independent samples t-test here in Jamovi.